Hi everybody, it's Kyle Riley with Peace Park Conservancy with another installment of How Tuesday. I'm going to show you how to make origami squirrels. Stay tuned. The only thing you need for this activity is a square piece of paper. It doesn't matter the size. Um, I used a pretty small piece of paper. I would recommend probably 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. You're only going to use half of the paper for the squirrel, so fold it in half and then either get some scissors and cut it in half or tear it apart. Um, the most important thing that you can choose with your origami is the color of the paper. I chose brown because uh, brown is such a, a fun color. It's the color of a uh, brown leather couch, it's the color of a cow, it's the color of wood or bark, but uh, feel free to choose any other fun color that you would like. Um, it looks like I'm cutting precisely, but I'm really not. I messed up quite a bit, so it's alright if it's not perfect. No one's perfect. All right, now that you have your two halves of, pe of paper, fold the paper um, again in half. Open the paper back up and then fold towards the crease in the middle. and do the same on the other side. At this point, you're probably wondering why a squirrel. Squirrels are actually really important to the environment because they hide their nuts every winter and then forget where they planted them. And then those nuts that have been planted grow into trees. Then take each corner and fold it as if you were folding a paper airplane. Do that on both sides. Uh, one thing I discovered uh, while trying to make this tutorial was that origami is extremely difficult and challenging and not at all the most relaxing thing that you can do with your time. But we're gonna make it through it. And once you're done with it, um, the end product is extremely satisfying, so I encourage you to stick with it. Oh. Yep. Folding is difficult. Alright. Make sure your edges are nice and creased. Alright, take that side. This will be, um, the head of your squirrel and fold it like so. Lift the corner up. Squeeze and fold down. Okay. It's all right if it's not perfect. All right. Now fold those corners back up. And now it looks like a bird's mouth. All right. Now fold in half. All right, take the headpiece and then fold it up like this so that it makes sort of a foot-like or a leg shape. I'm just gonna use this as a crease. All 
This upcoming part is probably the most difficult part of the entire origami squirrel. So if you make it past this, it's pretty much smooth sailing. But open it back up, fold it back over the opposite way. Now it's going to look like a boat. Hold it like a boat. Take the head, pull down on what is the beak, and then try to fold up what are the ears of the squirrel. So this is the most challenging fold of the entire origami squirrel. But once you're done, it should look like this and look similar to like a, sort of like a squirrel head. And once you make it past that, it's pretty easy. Um, fold up, make a crease, Now wrap it around, increase again, and then unfold, unfold, and then you have two creases. Use that crease to then fold the tail downward. You make sure you all uh, when you fold that you really press into it. Right? Now that's now that it looks like that. Open it back up. Open the tail and then push it like this and then close the tail again. And then it should look something like this. Oh, that's not very good. You want it to go straight down like um, a corner piece, 90 degree angle. So just, if you don't get the first time, you can fold it again. Now that it looks like this, um, you're going to fold it up. But first, to make it easier on ourselves, let's crease it like so. And then fold the tail up on the crease. And then like that, see it? And then close it again. It looks like a little heart now. To me, this is like a done squirrel, but you can do more. You can make it look even better. And then so you fold and you want to line it up on like that. Line up your fold like that. So doing it on both sides. Fold. And then like that. Alrighty. Now the tail is done. Your squirrel has a tail. Alright. Look how cute that is. But we can do more. Let's focus on the head now. Fold down the ears. Try to make it line up with the edge like that. Hold it and then fold. And then flip it and do the same on the other side. Kind of like a dog's ears. It's really small at this point, so this is where a larger piece of paper would come in handy. Now fold the tip of the ear up, but not all the way. Point it slightly forward, so fold to where it's the point is pointing forward. Fold the other side in the same way. 
If it's not perfect, it's still going to look cute, so don't worry about it. Oh, I'm ripping off a little bit of the ear. <laughs> All right. Now your squirrel has ears. Next, we're going to hold the nose. So open it up a little bit, hold it, and then take the tip of the nose and bend it backwards. And you're going to fold it underneath just to give the squirrel a little bit more of a nub for a nose. Alrighty, now your squirrel has a nose. Oh. All right, now make its hind leg and then its other hind leg. And now fold the tip of its hind leg down. This will create a base so that you can um, set the squirrel upright. Do the same on the other side. Try to fix it to where it'll stand upright. If you don't get it right the first time, you can kind of widen the legs. All right, now we're going to create its top paw. So open it up. You're basically gonna break the squirrel's back. So push, hold it with two fingers. Then with your other finger, push in the back, so like break its back, break its spine. And then you're going to pinch the corner and try to make it into like a little hand. Pinch, 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 pinch. And then do the same on the other side. So pinch, 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 pinch. All right. And done. That's it. Now you have your squirrel. Yay, squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. 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 All right. He's not really standing up, so as I said earlier, fix the base. Oh, oh, nope. Still won't stand up. Fix the base some more. So what I do is I just widen it a bit, give it a larger base, and now he's standing. And that's it, folks. So long. Farewell, oh duty, and yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>